morning, grade 11s. It's Wednesday the 20th. I haven't talked to you in a while. Um, sorry about yesterday. It's a bit of a mess up with that. Hope you all had a good long weekend. Uh, I hope you were able to get out and do something because the weather was decent. Um, and we will get down to it in a moment. Today I am going to do the three questions that are on pages 115 and 116. Um, then I'm going to ask you to do the rest of page 116 and all of page 117. And I will post a key for those uh, as f Wednesday's, sorry, I lie, Friday's video. Okay, so let us get down to it. Cabbages. So here we are on page 115, we're going to be doing all, well, I sh we won't do all the methods with these questions, but um, all the methods are uh, available to us now by this point. Um, oh yeah, that quiz, sorry about that quiz, there are a couple of problems with it. Obviously I will take that into account. Um, hey, excuse me. And let's get down to this. So, using the graph, we want to write the equation of the quadratic function. Now, I want the final answer in standard form. But that doesn't mean we have to use standard form right now. We can use any method we want um, and then convert it to standard form. So let's have a look at the graph and decide what method will be best. So when I look at this graph, I see a couple of things. I see roots, and I see a y-intercept. Now, the y-intercept, I know, works nicely with standard form, but it doesn't work so hot with uh, roots. Roots, I know, work very well with the factored form, but that doesn't work very well with the... Um, y-intercept. So I gotta say to myself, what am I gonna use? And in this case, because I have two pieces of information here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the roots. So that means in this I'm gonna start with factored form. No, go ahead. Alright. Um, factored form is y equals a x minus p x minus q and p and q are the roots so I can go ahead and write y equals a x minus minus 2 and x minus 4 then I tidy that up y equals a x plus 2, x minus 4. Now you might be saying to yourself, self, we still can't do this because we have one variable, two variables, and three variables. Aha, we do not, though, because right here is an x and here is a y. And right there is a y and there is an x. So I can put 0 there, 0 there, and negative 16 there. And all of a sudden, I'm able to find a. So I have negative 16 equals a, 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 4. So then, negative 16 equals a, 2, negative 4, negative 16 equals negative 8a, so a equals 2. Now once I have a equals 2, I now know that that can go in right there. And now I've got y equals 2, x plus 2, x plus, sorry not plus, x minus 4. Now, there's my parabola with everything filled in, but it's not in standard form. 
So y equals 2x squared minus 2x minus 8. Run that through. y equals 2x squared minus 2x minus 16. And there is my final answer, which works nicely with my negative 16 y-intercept. Now you can see it's a lot of work, but it's nothing hard. All we're doing is substituting in. So let's look at this one again. I want standard form. So let's look at our information that we have over here. What do we have right there? We've got a y-intercept of 0, negative 15. And what do we have right there? We've got a vertex of 6, 3. And we decide what form we're going to use. Well, we have standard form, we have factored form, and we have vertex form. What would be the smart one to use right now? Vertex form. And we remember vertex form is y equals a x minus uh, p squared plus q or something. I can't remember if I use h and k or p and q. It doesn't matter. But this is the x, the vertex x, and this is the vertex y. So all we do is fill it in y equals a x plus 6, oh sorry it's reversed, it's backwards, minus 6 squared plus 3. And then it's exactly like up here. We have an x and a y in our y-intercept x was 0, y was negative 15. So all we do is we fill it in and we do the work. 0 minus 6 squared plus 3. Negative 15 equals 36a plus 3. Bring that over. Negative 18 equals 36a a equals negative one half because 18 you know what I'm going to show that step because it's a fraction negative 18 over 36 equals a so a equals negative one half now of course a goes right in there y equals negative one half x minus 6 squared plus 3. Then we just do the math to get it there. y equals negative 1 half x squared minus 12x plus 36 plus 3. y equals negative 1 half x plus 6x minus 18 plus 3 y equals negative 1 half x squared plus 6 x minus 15 there and I see that it works nicely with my negative 15 so there are two fairly easy ones that will cover almost every question that you have sometimes though oh excuse me again we get one of these, and this is a mess. So let's have a look at that. What do we know? Absolutely nothing. Do we know the y-intercept? Because that would help. Nope. Do we know the vertex? Because that would help. Nope. Do we know the roots? because that would help. No. So this one we are really screwed with, and we have to use a method that you were taught in the 10th grade. 
Let me take a moment to slide over here. Remember, in the 10th grade, we taught you if you had a line there and another line there, that was the solution to that system. And you had the red line, which was y equaled mx plus b, and the green line, which was y equaled mx plus b, and you had numbers in there. And you then used substitution or elimination to find all the numbers. Well, you got to do that over here. So if I come over to here, I know that this function has ax squared plus bx plus c equals y. We know that. But since we don't have any of the stuff, what we actually have is an x and a y, an x and a y, and an x and a y. So if I write this function out, 9 equals a negative 2 squared plus b negative 2 plus c. And then I rewrite that again as 4a, right? Because negative 2 squared is 4, minus 2b plus c equals 9. There is an equation, right? So now that we know that, just to save room, I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to bring this red equation right over to here. Now, that covers the red one. Now, this blue one, I got 4 and 3. So this blue one is going to be 16a, right, um, plus 4b plus c is going to equal 3. And lastly, the green one, I'm going to have 4a plus 2b plus c equals negative 7. There's my three equations. Now, all i got to do is isolate one of the variables so I can get rid of it. So now notice, in the blue and the yellow equation, I got 2b and I got negative 2b. So if I add the blue and the yellow equation, I get this. 4, sorry, I get 8a, the b's disappear, plus 2c equals 2. Right? Now b is gone. Now watch. If I move this 8 over here, I get 2c equals negative 8a plus 2. If I divide everything by 2, I get c equals negative 4a plus 2. That is c. What do I see right there, right there, and right there? I see a C. So my new red equation is now 4A minus 2B plus C, which is negative 4A plus 2 equals 9. So that becomes 4A plus negative 4A. Hey, the A's disappear negative 2b plus 2 equals 9. So negative 2b equals 7. So b equals negative 3.5. So now I know b. Excuse me one moment. Something's going on here. Okay, I'm back. There was some hassle in the kitchen. Um, 
uh, that bothers me so I'm gonna check my work really quickly and I am looking at it right now and I'm seeing that's a problem because of course 2 divided by 2 is 1 sorry ladies and gentlemen so this should be a 1 so this should be a 1 which equals 9 so negative 2b should equal 8 so b equals negative 4 so now I have b equals negative 4 so now I can choose any equation I want for example uh, let's I'm gonna use this green one right here so 16 a plus 4 B negative 4 plus negative 4 a plus 1 because that's C equals 3 so that's 16 a minus 16 minus 4 a plus 1 equals 3 12 a minus 15 equals 3 and then 12 a equals 18 and a equals 1.5 well, again, sorry, 18 over 12, which is uh, 1 and a half, or 1.5. So, uh, sorry, we're back. So, now I know A is right there. Now I know B is right there. The only thing I don't know is C because C equals negative 4a plus 1 but I know a is 1 and a half so C equals negative 4 times 1.5 plus 1 C equals negative 6 plus 1 C equals 7 so here's my equation a, B, C, Y. A, B, C, Y. So A is Y equals A is three halves or one and a half or 1.5, however you want to write it. X squared plus B is negative four. So minus 4x plus c equals y and there is my final answer now I know this looks confusing but you did it to death in grade 10 it, for my class it was the very last unit we did systems of equations right so I'm gonna give you a hint when you do these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parabolas, number, number, five, you're going to need to use a system for. But it's not going to be as hard as the one we just did because of that. That's your hint for number five. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so you do 116 and 117. And on Friday, I'll do a video that shows that as a key because I imagine some of you are going to have enough, a bit of trouble with that. So it's going to be kind of like notes again anyway. Okay, talk to you Friday. Um, hopefully I'll see some of you at uh, the meeting tomorrow.